hey guys welcome to the channel uh, for the past few weeks i've been making a few videos uh, about an app that can measure power values in reef banks and in this video i wanted to share the results which i measured and compared to uh, an, a calibrated uh, apogee sensor i've made uh, previously a video uh, to explain what is the importance of power values or the importance of measuring power values uh, in a reef bank uh, and in one of, uh, if I remember right, the last video I made was an interview uh, with the developer of the app which I'm using to measure the power values. In this video, uh, I wanted to share uh, information about how I made the measurements, uh, what is the comparison of values which I got between the Apogee sensor and uh, the app. And there are a few things that you need to keep in mind when you're using the app for measuring the power values. Uh, I'll be sharing all that in this video to investigate the accuracy of the measurements made um, by the app. Uh, I rented out an Apogee sensor. I guess the model which I rented out was uh, the SQ120 and I compared the values and uh, I was really surprised by the accuracy of the values uh, from the app. We attached the Apogee power sensor to the scraper rod uh, using plastic cable ties. One thing you need to take care of while making these measurements are uh, the shadowing by your own arms. Uh, it seems to be a simple thing but be careful about it. Uh, we had to redo some of our measurements uh, due to this error. To start making the measurements I wanted some extra help for this project. Uh, so we could make measurements and note the values at the same time. Uh, we started off by uh, setting um, uh, origin point uh, in the tank so that uh, when we started making measurements, uh, we could measure off even the distance where we uh, did these measurements. So for each power measurements we made, we also recorded the X, Y, and the Z coordinates of where those measurements were made. The measurements using the power meter was quite straightforward, uh, but for making measurements using the app, we had uh, some preparation work to do. First off, uh, I had to tape a piece of A4 sheet uh, on the phone. I'm using another phone right now as I'm using my iPhone to film this video. Uh, so we need this uh, A4 sheet uh, to act as a diffuser. Uh, so this app needs this diffuser to make accurate measurements. It's understandable, right? The Apogee sensors have, uh, do have a, dis a diffuser on top of the sensor. And many of those light measurement devices used by photographers uh, do have a diffusers too. So it makes sense to uh, make uh, a diffuser uh, for using this app. Once the diffuser is uh, taped on to the front camera of your phone, uh, you need to use a waterproof plastic case to avoid any damage uh, to your phone when you put it inside water, right? Uh, so uh, I have done this uh, many times and never had any problems or issues with it. I strongly recommend you to switch off uh, your power heads and return pumps temporarily to make uh, the measurements uh, for power values. Uh, we found that the values were unstable when we had some kind of water uh, surface agitation. Uh, but when the pumps were turned off, uh, the values uh, varied a lot less on both the Apogee sensor and the app as well. One other thing to keep in mind is the orientation of the phone while making measurements. Even though we have a diffuser, we found that a small variation in the orientation of the phone in water uh, had a large impact on the power values, uh, sometimes with more than 20% of difference. 
I contacted Dominic from the Photon app team and they uh, do have a function in the app where it is uh, possible to uh, show the phone orientation. Uh, so make sure that you've turned uh, this feature on uh, in the parameters of the app uh, if you're making measurements. You can also choose uh, the type of light source you're trying to measure the power values. And for the reef tank application, I think the LED with the white blue profile uh, matches the best. For demonstration purposes, uh, we just wanted to show you one of the measurements uh, we made. Uh, as you can see, uh, the values are quite close to each other with a difference of about uh, 10 micromoles. These are all the measurements uh, we could make uh, on my aquarium. Uh, as you can see, the origin we set it on the left. Uh, extreme point the x represents the length of the aquarium the y is the height and z is the depth uh, of the aquarium the x y z values uh, here shown here are in centimeters please do note that the y values are from the bottom so a value of zero uh, for the y values is the bottom of the tank and uh, 40 is the top of the tank. I had some issues to uh, place the image uh, in my software. Uh, so if you can't see the values at uh, the bottom, uh, the last value which I have uh, in the table is 25 for the X, 5 for Y and 22 is for Z. Uh, the value recorded on the Apogee sensor is 680. Uh, and what we saw, uh, what we measured with the phone uh, using the app is 690. As you can see from these results, uh, the uh, values measured are quite uh, similar. Uh, what I rec what I identified is that. Uh, for power values uh, lesser than 300 micromoles, uh, the value measured by the app is around 10 micromoles lesser than the value measured by the Apogee. And I'm, and I'm suspecting that uh, the reason for this could be the use of uh, an extra layer of a plastic water casing uh, what I'm using uh, to waterproof the phone so for me uh, the app is uh, largely sufficient uh, to make measurements uh, to make power measurements in a reef tank do let me know if you've got any questions uh, in the comments below uh, I tried to cover all the topics that I discovered in the past few weeks in this single video. Uh, maybe I forgot to mention something. Uh, so if you got any uh, comments or questions or if you're willing to try the application, uh, do let me know. And yeah, take care. See you. Bye-bye.